has all the adjectives but not personal relationship so i realized that as an employee i was in that trap because education taught me that i should you know get up a get a job i should earn well get a family have mm-hmm. children and then die one day you know but we did, we were never taught to actually create the right amount of wealth in our life and wealth includes your health first your mm-hmm. relationships money position everything else comes to Hello everyone I Anupam Mishra the host of Comspire Communicate to Inspire welcome you all in the 11th episode of our podcast series I thank you all for the love that you have shown to our podcast channel and hope that we will inspire each other much more in the coming time through such podcast sharing the story of such self made personalities who achieved their dream world through their perseverance hard work and determination and today we have Neeraj Kapoor sir as our guest who will be sharing his life's journey and success mantra with all of us. Hello sir. Hello Anupam, how are you doing? Fine sir. <laughs> good, good, good. Fantastic. You are doing some great work. I can see that. Very, very inspiring. Go ahead. Sir, I welcome you with the core of my heart. Thank you so much for accepting this invitation to share your life's experiences. It's my pleasure to share that. because uh, that's what matters really speaking contribution to the world now i shall tell you in brief about who this great personality is neeraj kapoor is one of india's greatest brand builder recognized at global stage he is on a mission to enable and empower passionate entrepreneurs to transform their startup dreams into billion dollar brands and realize their dreams with ease grace power and simplicity his ventures offer world class business consulting and world's finest education that comprises spiritual mental physical and emotional mastery to launch and rapidly scale up startup business using brand and automation neera sir is probably the only professional who has directly worked with the india's four billionaire business families that of dudes virodias wadias and birlas for their several brand launches and marketing He has a very distinct understanding of customer psychology that translates into his business and marketing strategy. He has been a force behind global brands like LG, Sansui, Kenwood, Toshiba, Goyer, Payback and ICICI Bank loyalty program, Govardhan Eco Village, Globus, Birla Ayurveda among others, some of which are billion dollar brands. His upcoming book Breaking the Trap Essential for Startup Entrepreneurs is a must read for professionals who plan to start a business. some day so whatever i say will be less to define the work and personal of sir neeraj kapoor sir now i would request you to introduce yourself in the way you would like to introduce to anyone else well uh, the only thing i can say is i am a student as a student i am doing whatever is best uh, for myself and for the world out there because i realize that you know it's like we have little time on the planet and uh, this life is too little to make all the mistakes us we need to learn from others experiences others mistakes others learning curves and the more we learn from others is uh, how we really become so in one word i am a student Yes sir that's the reason you are one of the best coaches today in our nation because i am also a teacher sir and i know very well a teacher can do his or her best only when that teacher is a student you said very well that you are a learner first and we all do learn from each and every one around us sir you are doing a great job by helping so many people around here across the world to let them understand their potential <laughs> How were you inspired to start with such sort of movement entitled Startup Business Academy? Okay, so uh, it happened. It's actually uh, a part of my life. I saw that happening in my life a couple of years ago. I was working for a product and a brand launch for uh, Kinetic Honda. In fact, Honda had split up and we were launching new product ranges. And I was thousand kilometers away from my family, uh, my parents, and, all. and my father was not well. My parents were like, my mother was asking me come over, have a look, and I was. busy in my uh, you know, product launches and stuff mm-hmm. like that you know business as usual and i was doing pretty well uh, you know interacting with the with the big wigs the billionaires so to say mm-hmm. and uh, personal relationships really speaking i took it for granted yeah. and uh, one fine morning at 5 o'clock the phone rings and uh, my mother says uh, my father is leaving and i said leaving where is it mm-hmm. leaving for his heavenly abode and like i was like i was uh, completely helpless in that situation i realized that whatever i had earned in terms of money reputation fame glory everything actually became meaningless 
friendships and my relationships which were so material to me like my father like i was not next to him when he you know when he passed away and when he took his last breath so i realized the the meaning of life is not in collecting material possessions and uh, who has all the adjectives but not personal relationships so i realized that as an employee i was in that trap because education taught me that i should you know get up a get a job i should earn well get a family have mm-hmm. children and then die one day you know but we did, we were never taught to actually create the right amount of wealth in our life and wealth includes your health first your mm-hmm. relationships money position everything else comes into and that's the trigger that i actually saw in my life that i rather create a whole system level of wealth and i saw that i was not the only one in that trap there were millions and millions of people out there who were in that same trap like they are chasing dreams which uh, some of them may fulfill those dreams just like me but i realized that even after fulfillment of those <laughs> dreams i was uh, you know back to square one back to zero and that prompted me that i would rather break that trap i would rather come out of that paradigm yes sir and uh, that was the trigger that was the starting point and it took me some time it took me uh, some time to actually prepare for starting on my own because starting on your own is is a different mindset it's a different thinking altogether mm. and it's not easy that's what uh, you know i learned it's very simple but it's not easy so yes sir i mean you know just uh, for example like if you have been trained on on uh, let's say riding a cycle moving from cycle to uh, you know a car may not be easy but it is simple if you learn the process 10 years ago actually 11 to be precise the 15th of august 2010 i actually got independence from that trap called uh, being an employee technically i became free and i launched my own startup uh, venture that's how my journey began and i was being uh, you know working as a consultant and working with corporates and brands and i I saw that the whole context of what I came here for uh, you know I was going and giving it to only a few people you know the big wigs and the billionaires of the world so to say and there were so many entrepreneurs who were actually making the same mistakes that I was making when I was an employee when I started on my own and that's the story in short for startup business academy how it came into picture that's an incredible story sir thank you so much for sharing it and as you said that uh, like it was your freedom along with our nation's freedom <laughs> on 15th of august from where you started your startup business academy to help all the other entrepreneurs that's and right. uh, in your guidance right. So right now you are such a grand figure as you have also stated that you are working with such a kind of uh, business entrepreneurs and all you have worked with all the uh, biggest leaders you can say financial leaders of our nation but you might have also felt somewhere that uh, you couldn't do anything or you won't be able to move ahead in that case how did you strengthen yourself very frankly uh, life is a journey business is uh, not about uh, you know going from you know success to success it is actually going from failure to failure and creating success so uh, the whole truth about business is that you keep moving in the direction of your dreams in the direction of your vision and keep pursuing it from a perspective of uh, creating the value for uh, others and uh, in the process you create value for yourself so yeah i have had uh, moments of uh, you know realizations and moments of uh, you know uh, struggle and uh, not one i do not know which one to actually comment but let me just make it simple i have failed more times than most people even try and uh, that's the real sense of what what made me or what makes me as a human being as a startup entrepreneur as a serial entrepreneur as a business coach or a business consultant so one of the things which i can share with you is uh, yeah that's something which uh, is actually there a part of my book in, in fact that's the starting of my book which is uh, coming in across that one fine morning uh, i was just preparing for office and leaving Uh, for office uh, and then my phone rings and on the other end my cousin brother is there and he says congratulations uh, beta you have done an excellent job i said congratulations uh, for what uh, like thank you for so call but what congratulations is this for and he says uh, you know uh, look at today's newspaper look at today's economic times and haven't you checked like you have been uh, you know coronated and awarded as india's greatest brand builder i said really mm-hmm. and of course i knew the process was in place but i was having no information that you know on that particular day they were going to 
declare that here i open the newspaper and there is the cmo you know council uh, worldwide declaring myself as india's greatest brand builder uh, it was a great uh, you know great moment for me so it was on a high and then i go to office only to see that my boss is uh, giving me another news and uh, what was that news and this is congratulations neeraj uh, i said thank you and i was assuming that okay you know uh, because of the award he is congratulating yeah. he says no all the effort that you guys have made uh, you and your team have made uh, have actually resulted in getting an investor on board and of course this is the second big news and uh, i said okay what's uh, you know hidden part of the agenda because i could see you know there was a kind of a smug smile on his face and and he says that the investor is bringing not 15% but 85% equity it was not a very good sign because uh, my organization icici backed this uh, you know india's largest uh, loyalty program was actually sold to an foreign investor mm-hmm. and i could see that uh, you know all the work that i had done in taking that you know valuations 10x uh, in a matter of 3 years had actually been uh, you know given away on a platter yeah. act and i could see that so it was a moment of pride and also sorrow because on one hand i was accountable and i was uh, i i can take the credit that you know in my time in the last, you know 3 years period i could increase the valuations 10x but at the same time the company was given away for peanuts actually because in the next 7 months the company changed hands and uh, again from that 10x valuation which was about i think 200 crores it actually got sold out for 3600 crores so there was there was a huge value add mm-hmm. that was done and that is where i saw that it is the need of the r for me to not only enable entrepreneurs but also to ensure that they should not get swayed away by mm-hmm. uh, cheap valuations uh, mm-hmm. and uh, that's what i am doing today when we work together with startups uh, ideas worth billions of dollars could possibly mm-hmm. be just you know given away on a platter and my role is to basically keep the people aware that you know your yes. ideas are priceless and therefore if you keep working on it you will be rewarded in the in the process and um, that's that's what i learned from that experience mm-hmm. yeah. sir i first congratulate you and i'm really grateful that uh, i'm meeting such a person today who has always worked on his values i somehow know you personally as well and based on that i'll be sharing one story related to that recently i have started with the podcast i have podcast in three languages 21 episodes within one month so that was a surprise to my mentor that apart from your work how were you able to do such sort of thing and then there is a group of that bus proud community mm-hmm. there one question was asked just imagine if your podcast is to be sold today by 8000 dollars so what will you do 8000 or 80000 whatever mm-hmm. so all the people were telling that uh, sold let's sell it i don't mm-hmm. want it take it away but i had the same feeling as yours when i have built up that thing i have put so much of effort or i can say my heart on that thing how can i let it go so okay. i will work more on that and this is built upon my values how can i expect that anyone else is going to follow the same values what i have put into it or based on which it has started so okay. that was a great thing and one more thing i would like to add sir once you said that like it is easy to tell that yes i am successful today and people also believe that success has come from success is only <laughs> success is the successor of success but that's not true and you have stated here very well that number of times you have failed it's much more than anyone else has tried and that's really absolutely. a thing absolutely and and most people will not realize this because <laughs> yes failure sir. failure sounds uh, you know very uh, uh, i would say demeaning for people yes a lot of times uh, failure means something bad yeah it means something wrong <laughs> actually no failure means uh, you are more wiser than what you were you know yesterday and uh, actually you need to celebrate that and when yes, you start sir. to celebrate that believe me something magical starts to happen because you were not designed to fail like yeah. believe me and this is the fact the very fact that you are listening to this uh, podcast or a video interview is the fact that you are a winner you are a winner from the time that you were a sperm So uh, among those millions of sperms, you made mm. sure that you made your place to the you know egg and became yes, a goat, and your journey started. So the very fact that you are a winner from the the moment one <laughs> is a proof enough that you are actually tuned into this frequency. All you need to do is just take failure as a part of. milestone and yeah there is there is there is a lot of learning which is there. Yeah, i hope my father is listening to you because still <laughs> now he feels like a failure because i couldn't be a doctor <laughs> and still i want to be a doctor i want a doctor in front of my name and i am really working very hard for that okay okay yeah there are there are there are milestones which people create uh, for themselves and for uh, their children
children and for their loved ones and in all fairness uh, i believe uh, they are they are good at heart you know the intentions are always good at the same time it may not be relevant and uh, mm-hmm. that's where we need to you know draw the line that some of the things uh, may be good but may not be relevant and mm-hmm. uh, when we take the ones which are relevant then your life becomes meaningful and successful at the same time yes sir so true and sir when you are talking about that people are not ready to understand what failure is they take it in a negative way similarly when we talk about assessing ourselves knowing about ourselves introspecting ourselves people really don't want to see based on what they really are they don't want to check their reality rather what they do they judge themselves based on the other people like what other people think about so how do you convince those kind of people to go for introspection because yes of course introspection is the key to move ahead but how can we show its importance practically so uh, uh, this is this is very very important uh, what you have just asked across and i firmly believe you can take the horse to the water you cannot make the horse drink the water so there are two parts to this uh, question that you are asking one is for sure you can make a force to enable those people empower them to manifest their dreams into reality and go through all these challenges and what we actually there is nothing called failure yes it's, sir it's a milestone it's just an experience and then we can move forward so one of the things that people can do across uh, is uh, actually strike out the word failure from your dictionary because there is mm-hmm. nothing called failure in mm-hmm. fact the reality is you have never failed uh, even when you are failing that you think you have never failed because you actually intended to accomplish that that means you intended to accomplish that result and that result may not accom- you know uh, uh, look like a success to you and that's mm-hmm. why people call it a failure so there is nothing called failure so that's one second thing is it is a journey uh, and it is everybody's you know everybody's journey is different so uh, like mukesh ambani being being a multi billionaire and earning 90 crore rupees per hour during the last mm-hmm. one year is a journey now for some of the people and for actually a lot of people this may be a success but you and me can never imagine it's a part of a milestone for him some of the other people on the planet may be earning 90 rupees an hour or 90 Uh, 900 rupees a day or something like that yes sir and for them that is a milestone for them mm. so success is always your definition and you can always change your definition the good part is uh, you know uh, in hindi is there is this saying that you are the judge and you are the you know, person who is uh, accused so you as a judge accuse yourself of being a failure mm-hmm. but the beauty is as a judge you can also make yourself uh, become a free person achiever achiever and uh, that's what is important so if you can just realize that you are the judge of yourself stop beating yourself and uh, acknowledge yourself you know for what you have and uh, there are so many things that we are all bestowed with as gifts and some of the best things in life are free like right now if you are listening to this podcast it is most probably free and yeah. if anpun is charging then i'm sure she is doing something good with that right uh, i'm sure she is doing some charity yeah. the reality is these are the best things that you can actually you know learn from and then start your journey and then yes uh, on the journey you will meet a lot of people Uh, all that you need to see is how many people actually resonate with you so the law of the success basically says that uh, you are the product of five people that you associate with so hmm. whosoever like you associate with is what you will become in the end so if you are associating with successful people uh, you hmm. will become successful uh, if you are associating with failures as they say or people who are cribbers or you know complainers you will become a complainer yeah if you are associating with someone like billionaires you will become a billionaire like there is no way you will not because you will start to resonate like that yes sir. and that is that is one just little secret that you can actually you know implement that and when you start to resonate with those people who are achievers you will start to achieve as simple as that <laughs> right sir yes you have said very well that uh, we are the product of all the people we are being with jo saapon ke sath hota hai usme wish to hoga hai So a few people don't realize their what their goal is or how to fetch their goal and they get engaged into some maladaptive goal setting so how would you deter clients from engaging in maladaptive goal setting 
Mm-hmm. So this is this is the result of media I would say media you know tells us outside world actually tells us you know what is success and when you have this uh, deodorant then you become successful mm-hmm. then you attract females and then if you you know use this lipstick then you look beautiful <laughs> if you use this blue and lovely or fair and lovely then you become fair then you will become beautiful so this is all defined by media yes. what we have to do is if you really want to be successful you have to go within you have to ask yourself why are you here on the planet what what is that what is the purpose for which supreme power has actually placed you as a human being on the planet and when you start to actually introspect and it may take time it may not you know happen uh, you know like uh, uh, you know fast but it may for some of the people it may happen very quick because they have done the homework for some others and for most others it may take some time but the introspection is what you need to look for instead of seeking instead of seeking uh, definitions of goals from outside yes. what's important is we seek we go within and when we meditate when we seek you know on when we get into a conversation with ourselves that's the time some real gems come out because uh, again in in our uh, scriptures it is said samudra manthan jab hua tha to on both sides you know one side was the devatas and other side was the asuras right and uh, uh, you know the mandrachal parvat was being used as the what do you call the churning rod and vasuki was ru- used as a rod and from that samudra manthan from that you know churning of the ocean came a halahal wish it uh, you know poison yeah. and also amrit Uh, also nectar also eravat also lakshmi also kalpavraksha so many things came out so the real juice uh, we have to uh, you know understand is that the scriptures are case studies the scriptures have a lot of relevance uh, in our life uh, what we can use is they are actually case studies we can actually find a lot of meaning of for our life and for our life purpose from scriptures so just like that churning of ocean led to poison and led to amrit and nectar and eravat and lakshmi and so many things we can actually churn inside and when we start to churn inside you will actually get some amazing answers yes. you will get some uh, you will get some some real good gems and diamonds <laughs> i think Sir, listening to you, I am getting into some other world right now. And now I remember what you were talking about company. How I got connected to you. It was some psychology group, like I am doing my studies in psychology. And there I got uh, some information about you that you were taking some meditation sessions and all, some Buddha meditation. Something was there. and i got connected with that every day i was getting some beautiful messages from you so i just thought that it is a kind of a normal group where some mentor is there some coach is there and he is out of his uh, interest he is helping so many other people around and i remember once i loved your quote and asked if i could use it on my page and you answered so generously that whatever you post is for the benefit of everyone and you would be more than happy to see that your words have reached to many more but so there is one thing which has been in my mind since i was a child i had asked one of my class friends what she was reading and rather than answering what she was reading she said that she could do anything than telling me about the book which shocked me then and even now when many people believe that uh, whatever they have they are taking away their wisdom and everything with them they don't want to share their learnings or even source of learnings we know the reason it can be fear of getting more competitors and uh, right now like you have already established yourself do you really think it's a common practice or i have experienced it wrongly okay so first i would like to know what thought that i shared that inspired you, you so remember that thought it was a morning thought Uh, yeah. like in the very morning you have shared that uh, how we should start our morning like uh, every day what three things should be there in my mind and uh, with that what other things i am going to do so it was something related to that very good very good so it's my request uh, if it inspired you uh, i'm sure uh, it will inspire a lot of more people so in this podcast itself uh, make sure that you uh, you know Uh, this is a request again yes sir yes sir sure that? because i am sure it will inspire a lot more. yes sir of course i will do that okay so now coming back to your question see uh, there are, you know human beings as we call ourselves uh, we are a product of our experiences our programming and uh, the way most people are programmed is that uh, you know in school and this is uh, this is like our school education is responsible yeah. for that is that if you come first then somebody else has to come second in games in sports uh, if mm-hmm. you come first then somebody else has to come second <laughs> uh, so there is a win lose uh, relationship that we have been programmed with now what happens is uh, this win lose is not just in studies or in sports it actually 
has far reaching effects in our life so people are most of the time programmed with that win lose that if i uh, want to win then somebody else has to lose are you following my point yes so, sir so that actually creates insecurity that creates uncertainty and that also creates creates a lot of stress that also creates a, a feeling of distrust for others and uh, this is normal for a lot of people like this is for them like they may feel oh this is perfectly fine yes because that's the way you are programmed yeah. so now now looking forward from uh, as an employee yeah this may work for you because if you want a promotion then you need to prove mm-hmm. yourself and you need to be the bright you know the blue eyed boy mm-hmm. and stuff like that that's why we see you know so much of politics happens in uh, in organizations as well but if you really want to be a startup entrepreneur if you really want to move the paradigm then one of the things that you got to do is you got to work on this programming actually it's not programming it's a virus so you see. got to change this programming to from win lose to win 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 okay so it is not win lose anymore it is win 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 like that means you are winning the other person is winning and the other person to whom that other person comes in touch with is also winning that means if you are an entrepreneur you are winning your customers are also winning and your your investors your uh, you know stakeholders your employees your customers customers they are also winning yes. and when you acknowledge and when you when when you implement that in your life then there is no way you can fail mm-hmm. there is no way uh, uh, you will uh, not get success because that's the rule of nature and uh, when we acknowledge that when we implement that in our life that win 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 is all we are looking at then automatically nature is going to reward you with abundance like the third law of motion which we call newton's law yeah naturally not newton's law it is universal law Yeah. And that law says every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, sir. And that's the truth. So if you are doing good to others, mm-hmm. nature will make sure that good will be done to you. If you are contributing to others and make them win, nature will make sure that the other person will, you know, come and contribute and make you win. Now it may not happen directly. Yeah. It may not happen directly by you know the same person working for you. Mm-hmm. But it will happen. like that's the law so yeah the law, karma you say that bhagavad yeah, gita take the law will take its own course and it is universal law it is not yes, that sir. it works in india and it will not work in us or you know it will not work in australia it will work like law of gravity works mm-hmm. everywhere irrespective wherever you are on the planet similarly it's a law of success the law of success actually states that you move from the win lose mentality which is tying you down to a win 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 mentality yes sir. and when you start to work on that and this is just one of the laws like when we work with our uh, community and with our tribe and startup business academy mm-hmm. uh, these actually laws are uh, actually shared with them and people work on them and believe me uh, magic starts to happen yes sir. for every client like that's that's it so it is said not geeta sar karmanya adhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachan so it's similar to that we need to just keep on doing our work and yes of course action will be there based on what work we have done for action we have done right. sir uh, now i'll be asking something personal to you <laughs> like uh, who are the three people who have been the most influential to you in your life's journey and how do you connect yourself with them it's very difficult to just name three because uh, there are more <laughs> than multiples of three i would say yes sir but uh, at this juncture when i am interacting with you i believe uh, there are there are three people who have impacted my life the most my mother yes, uh, and uh, she had been uh, you know fierce lady like she belonged to a great uh, you know uh, jagirdar family but <laughs> when she came to my uh, like my my uh, my father got married to her and we were a middle class family and we were like my father was working uh, you know uh, in uh, a defense organization so we did not had those kind of riches as a scope like i idolize uh, with my mother and in fact uh, till now like i would have she is no more now and this is oh. her photograph with me so i keep it in front of me okay. so this is me over here uh, in her lap so this is uh, this is one uh, for sure like she is my guru and uh, the one who i really admire and appreciate and inspired by uh, the second uh, person that i could uh, i can name over here is uh, uh, very frankly uh, lord krishna and uh, lord krishna is someone who has uh, who has been instrumental in actually taking arjun out mm. of that uh, deep despair and overwhelm 
to clarity and results and i he is the one who standing amidst uh, in in the battlefield amidst you know two different armies was having the clarity and he could guide his uh, friend and uh, mentee uh, arjuna to generate meaningful results and the third figure that i really admire and uh, i am guided is in the present times and we call uh, him as our dear prime minister narendra modi and oh. i really believe that he is doing some amazing work he is like we are blessed as humanity not as indians we are blessed as humanity for having divine soul ruling the country and making sure that all the necessary steps are taken and uh, these are the three people uh, that i can share right now <laughs> At first, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. I know that how much mothers are important for anyone's life, and the way you said that you have learned the basic education and everything from her, and then your gratitude towards Lord Krishna, and then of course our very Prime Minister Modi ji. So this actually shows your true identity, sir. What kind of person you are, <laughs> the way you have come up with the three personalities, and the three are actually. the top most from every aspect you see like your mother lord krishna the divine and our nation's prime minister so right now i have already asked you so many questions and if you could step into my shoes what would you have asked yourself that i didn't my question would be simple uh, you know if if i were you i will ask what is that one thing that i can do right now to help elevate my situation where i am to where i want to go and manifest my dreams be asking this question as you to me okay Wait, so the one thing and the only thing that you can actually do is to get hold of someone who can guide and hold your hand and not just be stand to this stand is enough there like when you and you have enough of knowledge so it is not the knowledge which is going to take you to the next level or help you in any way uh, what's most critical is you identify someone in your life who shares the similar set of values yes, and sir. when you identify that person and it's a person it's not a recorded program it's not a kind of a group uh, stuff which is happening it's mm-hmm. not youtube it's not a tedx talk it's someone who is willing to hold your hand and walk you towards your dreams identify that one person in your life i can i can guarantee and this is i, I am willing to uh, you know sign on the stamp paper i can guarantee that if you find that and if you find this person you can cut short your struggles by minimum 10 years you can get extend you know expanded results minimum 10 times in the next one year you can realize your full potential in the next 10 years a whole context is that you are actually really living your passion or accomplishing goals you are actually generating the right value for the world and really living your purpose and mission so just identify that one person and you don't need to have you don't need to run to 10 different people out there in the world because okay. uh, that's what you know people get into temptation yes sir simply focus on this one person in your life and that one person can actually change and what and if i reach you for this sir You have already reached me, so that's the reason why we are discussing. So just identify that one person in your life, and yes, this sir. is this is a message not just to you, Anupam. This is a message to everyone who is listening. Yes, now. sir. Because most of the times we are we are uh, either not doing enough to identify one person in our life, mm-hmm. or we are uh, we are having doubts. You know, self doubt. Yes, sir. मैं कर पाऊँगा या नहीं मैं कर पाऊँगी या नहीं. You know, all those things are वो बहुत अच्छा है, but वो मुझे accept करेगा या नहीं. कुछ होना जाके so uh ho sakta hai shayad aap reject ho jao it's not necessary that you know there are actually there are a lot of people who come to me but maybe they are not ready not yes, that sir. they are they are bad or anything but they are not ready they are they need to really go through that particular cycle so when we accept uh, people in our coaching academy we go through an entire checklist and only when we are convinced that we are a great fit that uh, then we accept them and uh, believe me uh, we have uh, you know an amazing community and uh, that's what matters that you know people are out there to contribute and to learn and to yes, create sir. i hope that people are listening to you and uh, they will definitely go for this thing and right now they will be asking uh, to get an access to approach you to reach you and i would uh, request you to share how people can be able to connect with you online or in any way so uh, there are a couple of ways you can reach me uh, uh, of course uh, i am not a whatsapp person so if you drop a whatsapp to me i'll chances are you will never get a response <laughs> uh, so i am telling you what you need not do uh, 
uh, yeah, I am reachable on uh, uh, website. I am reachable through LinkedIn. Uh, you can reach out to Neeraj Kapoor dot in, uh, which is a website, which is my personal uh, page. Uh, uh, you know, you will be guided through. You can reach out to Startup Business Academy dot in. You will be guided through. You will have uh, special areas where you can actually become a part of our some of the free programs, and we keep having these. Uh, you know, uh, free webinars and free online sessions, so you can learn over there. And uh, you can uh, definitely, yeah, startupsecrets.in is another, uh, so you can reach out to www.startupsecrets.in and that's another page uh, where uh, you can actually be guided in terms of, uh, you know, and this, these are all free uh, resources and where uh, in some of the sessions I'm personally present and uh, I am guiding people or helping them manifest their dreams into reality and uh, yeah we have a growing community so there are there are some of my senior coaches who are are you know taking those sessions as well so that's how you can reach me thank you thank you so much sir for sharing all these things and of course there will be many people who will be trying to find a person like you so right. yes of course people will get inspired from your story the way you have shared and whatever you are doing right now and at the end, sir, what will be the three most important things that you want everyone to remember uh, when they have to start a business and uh, they really want to excel in that? So, uh, very quickly, uh, three things. Uh, you know, whatever you say, you know, if you forget everything from this uh, interaction, but just remember these uh, one or two, three things, uh, you will get results. Uh, just on a plain sheet of paper, write down the word I am. And uh, whatever you write down after that, that is who you will become. You may think, uh, you know, you are not financially sound. And if you say, I am not financially sound, you will become not financially sound. If you write down, I am financially, uh, you know, having a great time and I am financially abundant, you will become financially abundant. So these two words, I am, followed up with whatever that you say is the mantra that you can remember in your life. And uh, maybe you do not have enough resources right now but that's not the limiting point. Uh, I have done things which I couldn't afford. Like I am, I have been a part of some of the world uh, leader programs, and where I had to invest, you know, lakhs and lakhs of rupees. Like I would have spent more than a crore of rupees on myself in just pure education. And uh, there have been times when I did not have the fund in my uh, bank account to fund for that. You know, if you are spending some 27, 28 lakh rupees on education. It, it's a lot of money. You don't have that kind of money lying in the bank account. But most critical part is the decision that you take. And when you decide, remember I told you, the world will align to make things happen yes, for you. Sir. Even if you do not have the funds, but if you have the mentality that I am able, I am financially going to make it happen, you will. So, the second thing is uh, that you can remember is, uh, you know, the poor people or people with poor mentality or poor programming, they uh, they ask this question, you know, uh, or they say, you know, I cannot afford it. Yes, sir. And rich people with abundance mindset say a different question. They ask a question, how can I afford it? <laughs> this, these are two different questions and two dif very different answers. So the moment you say, I cannot afford it, you are actually putting a cross in front of like, it's like a dead end. There is nothing that will come out of that answer or question statement. But when you start to say, how can I afford it? How can I make this work for you or make this work for myself? Then you start to get amazing answers. Remember I told you introspection and things like that. So yes, sir. that's something which, uh, you know, we can uh, work on. So that's second. And the third, obviously, uh, have that faith that you are not alone. Uh, the very reason that you are listening to these, uh, you know, words and you are listening and tuned in over here is the fact that universe loves you. There is there is a higher power that really cares for you, that really believes that you have the content. Only thing is you just need to polish it. You know, uh, and if you are a diamond, all that you need to do is just polish it and then present it to the right people and then you have value. So, all you need to do is believe in that faith that someone up there uh, believe in you and 
you have the capability to make it big. So if just you can take these three things, first is I am, followed up with whatever you say becomes the truth. Second thing is change your question. And third thing is, you know, believe that you are not alone. There is someone who is supporting you, even though you cannot see him or her. Yes, sir. Whatever you said is self-sufficient. I don't need to comment anything because uh, the people who are listening, they will understand. <laughs> and yes, of course, the like success story starts from there, from the three points what you have ended with. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And I'm grateful to you once again that you accepted uh, to be here at least for such time and uh, inspire so many people who are listening to you right now. So even to the listener right now, if you have loved listening to this podcast, please share it with your friends and family and they too will get benefited. Thank you so much. Great. I, I want to acknowledge you, Anupam, for doing such selfless work and making a contribution to the world out there. And it really goes to say that you are here for a great purpose in your life. And it is only a matter of time that you actually, you know, bloom uh, your talent into uh, multifolds and reach out to the world and meaningfully uh, contribute, provide great value and uh, get awarded for that. So congratulations and all the best to you Anupam, for making that happen. Thank you so much. Sir.